Do you know what it's time for? Yes, it's time for the brand new LP of Gods. The Battle of Olympus for NES. Developed in 1989 by Broaderland Software Incorporated. I've never heard of it either, but I don't care. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is a very, very underrated NES classic, in my opinion. Um, often overshadowed by Zelda 2, and a lot of people like to refer to this game as a Zelda 2 clone. But it does stand on its own, and the reason a lot of people kind of shifted away from this game is because... It's difficulty. It's a pretty freaking difficult game. It starts off pretty easy, but gets uh, difficult very quickly. Anyways, uh, here we got to name our hero and heroine. Naturally, I'll name my hero Dario, and my heroine's name? Hmm. I think I'll name her... After my ex-girlfriend! <laughs> uh, where's the E? J E. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend. Oh, I wasn't done. Well, I guess that was the maximum character. Oh well, her name will be Jessica. There. <laughs> so this is it, guys. This is the inner. This is uh how we play. Uh, the B button is to jump, the A button is to swing our club, and ducking and jumping is pretty much very similar to Zelda 2. Here we have our, our uh, menu. We start off with a club and nothing else. The two zeros you see down there is uh, salamand salamander skins, which will come in handy later on. And our HP bar is on the top near our map. So yeah, this is it. This is Battle of Olympus. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Dario, first you must go to the Temple of Arcadia to meet Zeus. Yup. So what do you guys think of the of the first uh, music for the first area? Bad, good, I like it. There is a legend about a man who could control fire by using the Staff of Fennel. And uh... There's a bunch of people you talk to throughout the game. Every single one of them gives pretty useful tips. It's just they give so many tips out that uh, I tend to forget what the hell they are saying. Search for the spirit of the forest in Pelponis. It holds the strongest sword. Yes. Okay, what's in here? Another guy. Inside the cave, there may be an invisible door. Interesting. I've heard that there is something hidden high up in the trees. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, if we go to this next screen, I think we get our first enemies of the game, the slimes on top of the trees. And pretty easy. Oh, well, maybe not. Damn it. Yeah, I'm just having a hard time already. Good, that's not good. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. And the little crystals you see me collecting um, are very useful. This way leads to our goal is, but with the power you have now, you better not go there. Okay, we won't. Yeah, the crystals we have, um, if we die, we lose all the crystals, but uh, it's it comes in handy. We're going to be able to buy, we're going to need it to buy certain items later in the game. Damn it. Jesus, jump. Now you see why this is a, you know what? The hell with you guys. I'm just gonna run past the slimes there. Good grief. Ah, the oracle speaking of a person. The first heart is the proof of his courage. The second heart is the power to undo the barrier. The third heart is the start of a new ordeal. And as soon as you walk out of these uh, houses, you might wanna... Oh, nice. Those little seashell thingies is my health that they drop. As soon as you walk out of these houses, you might want to shout for the slimes. They might fall on your head. I heard that the Staff of Fennel's in Attica. It is! It's true! So we just want to keep heading to across the screen here. 
And let's check what's up here. In Pelpanese, the power to jump and control fire will be necessary. You ain't kidding. And you guys will see that when this game decides to get epic on our ass. Alright, that takes us to Attica. Um, yeah, we'll be back. That's not where we want to go yet. <laughs> we want to head into this area. And here we got our first uh, mini boss here. Which you'll see. I'm walking slowly. It's a bull. Easy. Just keep swinging your your wooden staff and you can't fail. It's easy as dirt. I think it's easier than the slime in my opinion. <laughs> and this leads to Zeus's temple. There is Zeus himself. Let's talk to him. And if you just walk up to him, you'll notice, what the hell? He's not talking to me. Well, this is Greek mythology, people. You must bow to the gods, so you gotta kneel down and press the A button. I'm the god of Zeus. Dario, I've heard your story from Aphrodite. You can't use the power of Argus without the sword of Hephaestus. I'll call on the other gods to bless you with their powers. Hear the word of the gods, don't forget it. Thank you. And that's it. We talked to Zeus. Now we can get the hell on out of here. Naturally, uh, the enemy respawns, just like all good old classic NES games. So we must kill him and move on forward. Yay! Alright. And now we can head to Attica. Don't worry about heading uh, that way right now because we're not ready to go there, so. We will head to Attica. And this place is dangerous. Another kick ass theme. Welcome to the city of Eleusius. A little further down the road is the city of Athens. A large boulder fell and blocked the pass to Phythia. Alright, so we head down the steps here. And if I remember correctly, we gotta go talk to another god here. The shield of Athena is endowed with the power to repel your enemy's weapons. Yes, that's where we have to head. We have to go find the shield of Athena. Oh, damn. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> Jesus. Those things, those little demon things can be a pain in the ass. So you want to... Jesus, I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Wow, that was close. Yeah, those demon things are definitely a pain in the neck, so... Oh, my God, we're dead. See how easy it is to die in this game? It's freaking hard. Anyway, what we want to do here is hit continue, I believe. And we'll start off in uh, the beginning area. And actually, I think I should have hit retry. Oops. Yeah. Well, continue starts you off with the olives. Retry, I think, removes your olives. But that's all right. I'm still... I'm going to get better as we go. I'm still trying to get used to this. So, <laughs> Sorry for my nubbiness. Already. Damn it! Oh, there you go. We killed one of those demons, those biatches. All right, let's try this again. And like I said, the beginning isn't that hard. I'm just sucking right now for whatever reason. I've heard that this is a god in fit. There is a god in Fithia that makes wonderful weapons. Anyway, if you bow over here, or up or something, I don't know how to do it now. Ah, forget it. Jesus, Jesus. I thought the fountain is supposed to refill your health, but screw it. There may be crystal ball somewhere that enables you to see invisible things. See, like I said, uh, every single one of these townspeople uh, seems to have 
junk to say to us. My name is Kelios. Are you searching for the nymph? I could tell you where she is if you prove to me that you're Dario. I am Dario. Ah! Oh yeah, this is the fountain. If you kneel before it, you are refilled with health. And here we have another god. Athena! Even though it looks like a dude. <laughs> Welcome, Dario. I am Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. I'll give you a shield to protect you from the attack of monsters. Nice! Sweet! Hear the words and don't forget it. The password is... I am Jesus. Remember it. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the shield and it's automatically equipped for us. Nice. And we're all out of time for this episode, so... See you guys next time! Later, everybody.